Hello everyone, I am Manali Reshamwala, Assistant Professor from LJ Institute of Physiotherapy. We are going to discuss some of the techniques of PNF in respiration in this video tutorial. It is a part of syllabus for final year physiotherapy students of Gujarat University and the subject is Physiotherapy in Cardiopulmonary Conditions. So here are some of the techniques. In previous video we have already discussed intercostal stretch and vertebral compression in detail. Next techniques which are anterior stretch basal lift, maintained manual pressure, perioral pressure and abdominal core contractions we are going to see in detail in this video tutorial. In previous video tutorial we have already discussed the definition of PNF technique and indication and contraindications in detail. So let's see the anterior stretch basal lift in detail. In procedure of it, with the patient in supine lying position, we have to place the hand under the posterior ribs and lifting gently upward. The lift is maintained and provides a maintained stretch and pressure posteriorly and stretch anteriorly as well. Response is increasing movement of the rib in lateral and posterior direction can be seen. We may also find increase in epigastric movement. So here is the technique which is shown. We have to lift the lower ribs firmly and gently upward. We have to maintain it that pressure for some of the time which will give pressure and stretch to the lateral and posterior area of the rib. So we may get increase in the respiratory movement in those area. The reason for it is dorsal root mediated intersegmental reflex and stretch receptors in the intercostal muscles which may give epigastric rays because of re reflex. Next technique is maintained manual pressure in which we have to give mild pressure with the open hand. We have to maintain it over the area in which expansion is desired. We may find gradual increase in excursion of the rib under the contact will be filled. The reason is due to cutaneous tactile receptor increase in the respiration. The patient position for it is such patient may sit leaning forward with their arm supported on a high pillow and their head resting on their arm for comfort. And we have to provide uh, manual pressure we have to maintain it for a certain period of time. The indication of it is to obtain expansion in the painful situation in presence of chest tubes, for example, or following cardiac surgery, which may have required splinting of the sternum. Next is COPD. Another indication is COPD, where if we may find any kind of consolidation or in a case of uh, atelectasis, we may get positive response through PNF technique. Next technique is perioral pressure. We have to give stimulation by applying firm maintained pressure to the patient's upper lip. Pressure is maintained for long length of the time that the therapist wishes the patient to breathe in in active pattern. Use of surgical gloves is advised to avoid infection from therapist to patient as well as from one patient to another patient we need to change the glows also response will be brief that is approximately for five seconds so there will be brief period of apnea followed by increased in epigastric excursion here is the uh, figure we can see uh, we, uh, we are giving a pressure to the upper area or upper lip of the patient these may give various positive response and the reason of it is primitive reflex response is related to shocking. As the stimulus is maintained, the epigastric excursion may increase so that movement is transmitted to the upper thorax and the patient appears to be deep breathing. So the response of perioral pressure are deep breathing, we may get shying response, mouth closure, swallowing and shocking or snorting phenomenon. This perioral stimulation gives very good response in a case of cerebral palsy patient. 
लास्ट टेक्निक इज कॉक कॉन्ट्रेक्शन ऑफ एबडामिनल मसल द प्रोसीजर इंक्लूड विद द पेशेंट इन सुपर एंड लाइन पोजिशन द थेरापलिस पेसिंग वन हैंड ऑन पेशेंट्स लोअर रिब्स एंड वन ऑन द पेलविस ऑन द सेम साइड एंड पुशिंग विद मॉडरेट प्रेशर सो दैट द फोर्स इज अप्लाइड एट राइट एंकल टू द पेशेंट रिस्पॉन्स इज इंक्रीज इन टोन इन द एबडामिनल मसल which is both visible as well as palpable so if we are palpating the abdominal muscle after giving co contraction of abdominal muscle technique we may find firmness in the belly we may also find activation of the diaphragm effective cuffing and decreased abdominal girth in the obese patient this technique and this phenomenon is being given by a roots here is the figure where we can see the apply area of the pressure in the direction of pressure we have to give on the bilaterally once on the left side and then on the right side or right on in the left side the mechanism of it is such that whenever we are giving pressure the intrafusal fibers of the in, of the same side of the abdominal muscles get stretch which give response and opposite side extra fusel fibers also get stimulus and get contracted this way bilateral stimulation can be gained on alternative basis so usually perform bilaterally and with pressure maintained for some second and applied alternatively to first one side then to the other in obese and post operative abdominal surgery response is slow the reason for it is stretch receptor in the abdominal muscle as i said as well as these muscles and intercostal muscles stretch gives reflex stretch reflex to phrenic nerve which may give response as an increase in diaphragmatic movement we may find epigastric raise in this as well so here are the some of the techniques of pnf in respiration we have seen the procedure of it response in every technique due to that procedure and the reason for it in detail here are the reference thank you so much